Now, Fujitsu also preloads a number of virtualization apps, which you can see here. We've got VMware View and the Citrix receiver, and we've also got ITAP Mobile as well. Now, where we've been testing out Citrix receiver, um, so basically, when, when you log in, you just type in the server name. This is the, the main menu you'll come to, and here you can add in any applications and put them onto the, the screen there. So I've add, added on all the, the Microsoft Office suite um, applications there, and I've added on a couple of uh, more uh, design applications there, like architectural design and watercraft. So in terms of using an application like Word, um, again, we're running this over 3G, so it's, it depends on the signal quality, um, but uh, it, it does work reasonably well. Uh, now, obviously, these applications were designed for um, use with a mouse and keyboard, um, so uh, they've had to integrate the, ge the gestures into them, in it, and it works reasonably well. Um, as you can see, if I click on the pointer, I can turn the pointer on, and I can, I can put the cursor anywhere I want, I can have a magnifier and I can bring up the keyboard. Now in the landscape mode the keyboard is quite large so it's actually better to turn it into uh, portrait mode and there we go, that's actually much better because you can see more of the screen and then you can also type with two hands um, so you can type, type quicker um, in terms of that. Now, if I go back, so Microsoft Word works reasonably well, but um, when you're using it over 3G, um, if you if you go into a design-heavy application, you will notice quite a lot of slowdown. And even using applications such as this uh, over Wi-Fi, I tried it over ADSL. It was it was quite slow. So it's going to take a bit of time to load up there. Now. You, you're not really going to be able to to kind of to make edits and changes in in these kinds of applications because you need something very precise like a mouse um, and you could you could plug something in but um, this again the slowdown is quite noticeable and it's better for perhaps if you need to view something when when you're going out to a client or you're going out to a customer or you're showing something. Um, it's, it's good to have it there as a backup, but here, as you can notice, it's um, telling you that the connection is going to be quite slow. Um, and in, in terms of zooming and things, it works quite well, but um, it's, it's not ideal and it's not going to replace a, um, a Windows based machine. Um, again, so if we go back, um, you, you can get access to the desktop as well. Um, some other useful applications include uh, Think Free Office, which if you don't want to, uh, if you don't need to use the virtualization app, you can kind of use this as a basic uh, version of Word. So you can you can view documents in here. And again, we found the same thing. Uh, it's kind of best to view things in in uh, portrait mode, uh, so you can see more of the screen and you can type with uh, with both hands there. And Finally, they um, we've also preloaded an application for uh, email. It's called Touchdown. So this is a bit more a uh, bit more comprehensive than the uh, traditional email client you get. Um, so it's got quite a lot of shortcuts. But um, you can sort email. Everything is in, in the top corner. So it's it's, it's much easier to, to access. Um, kind of things, emails, and it's closer to the Outlook design uh, that you may be used to with the, with the desktop, so that's very useful, so you can kind of go into your calendar, you can view your appointments, and you can go back to your emails there, so and those are very useful apps there, um, but again, uh, if, you're, if you're going to need to use uh, Windows programs very regularly, then we would suggest getting a Windows based machine, but this is useful for the odd occasion where you need to, to access those programs.